Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. There is a video going around that is showing pro-abortion activists that are allegedly kicking the Bible on the floor, throwing it about and eventually sticking it in a toilet. Now because this is YouTube I can't show the full video because it's going to get restricted, shadow banned and then the message won't get out there. So to get around this I put a link in the pinned comment below, link to my Twitter and you can go and check it out on there. Now first and foremost this is unacceptable and despicable behavior. The religious symbols of religions should be respected regardless of who you are. And it honestly breaks my heart to see this because obviously as Muslims we know we've got people in Norway that go out of their way to burn the Quran, to incite the Muslims and of course there is a reaction and that's why this individual went out of his way to say if this was the Quran you would not be doing this. If this was the Quran you would not have done it. But it also begs the question yeah why are Christians quiet and silent and tolerant when stuff like this happens. If you do not set your boundaries then people will do what they want and that's what we see when it comes to unfortunately Christianity and other religions as well. The boundaries are not drawn and that's why people come under the guise of freedom. Yeah we do whatever we want mate. But it's not freedom, it's like this guy was saying this is hate. Give me my Bible back, that is a hate crime! Now me being a Muslim and somebody who preaches his faith I also have a Bible but I keep it on the top shelf and I look after it and I treat it with respect. Now of course as Muslims we have disagreements when it comes to to the fundamentals of the faith. However, when you look at the key figures in Christianity, Jesus, peace be upon him, Mary, peace be upon her, we can see, you compare it with the Quran, you can see the inherent reverence of these individuals in the Quran. Let's take Jesus, peace be upon him, he is mentioned 500% more than Muhammad, peace be upon him, by name that is. Mary is mentioned 18 times in the Bible, she's mentioned 32 times in the Quran. The Quran has an entire chapter called Mary. When you look at the Bible there is no such thing. So the people of faith should stand together against hatred of God and religion that's being put forward by the liberals. Let's leave it there guys until next time. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum.